Welcome to Castle Con, where we review everything geek. Today we'll be reviewing, if you haven't already noticed, the sword of Killy the Dwarf from The Hobbit An Unexpected Journey. Now this sword is manufactured by United Cutlery, who does get props from Weta, Weta uh, the prop makers for the movies, and they have modeled it after that. So this is a very highly accurate prop replica of this sword. The sword's overall length is 28 inches, and the blade length is 21 inches. The sword also comes with its own plaque for hanging the sword on the wall. It has a very nice geometric design, the dwarven design that is modeled in the sword, as well as a certificate of authenticity. Now the certificate of authenticity does give you uh, a little bit of background, both in the uh, realm of the Hobbit, as well as a little bit about the actual design of the sword. Killy's sword retails for $274, and at castlecon.com we have it for $145 US dollars. Remember, we do ship internationally, so any non-US customers can get these products just the same as anyone else. Now we're going to get into a deeper review of the sword itself. What I really like about this sword, which is similar to many other dwarf items, is the overall geometric design. The pommel has a crescent moon shape, very reminiscent of the historic Celtic short sword. On the pommel itself, there's actually a little design which includes two hearts that I didn't initially realize. The handle wrap has a nice maroon or burgundy color on it. It is slightly worn like the rest of the sword, and we do have finger grips all the way down. In addition, we have these small plaques with the diamond shaped designs that help with gripping of the sword. As you can see, the very short cross guard continues the dwarven geometric pattern as well as four hearts as seen in the pommel before. The blade has a worn finish just like the rest of the sword with nicks and notches out of it. It almost gives it a nice stone design and that is due to the acid etching done on the blade. The blade is about a half inch thick and overall gives the sword a very nice feel and weight to it. You know that you are handling a high quality replica and not a very cheap prop. So there are a couple negatives to note about this sword. First of all, like most other Hobbit movie props, this sword doesn't have a very functional design. The half inch blade, although which makes the sword feel like a very high quality product, also makes it not very functional. This sword is definitely not a functional weapon, but it is still an amazing prop and amazing replica to hang on your wall. One final negative to note is that this sword did have some quality control issues in manufacturing. Some people have noted that their blades have not been completely straight. As you can see on this copy, we do have a straight blade going this way, as well as if we turn it this way, we do have a straight blade. One thing that I have noticed though, if we do look down the edge of the, or down the fuller, you'll see a slight curve to the right. I find this a very minor issue, and of course since this when this is hanging on the wall, we do not see that issue. Rest assured, any copies that you do buy from CastleCon, with your permission, will be inspected and make sure that there are no quality control issues with this item. Overall, I really like Killy's sword. When I first unboxed it, I was really surprised at how nice it really was. The pictures online just didn't do it justice. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably rate it between an 8 and a 9. The sword overall has some great, nice design features and has a good feel to it. Doesn't feel like a cheap prop, but actually feels like a nice replica that's going to fit well right within my armory behind me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, as well as check out castlecon.com to order your copy of Killy's Sword. <laughs>